guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to take you out somewhere you see this one i'm doing for the people who are out of the country i know you miss national museum it's where i'm heading so i hope you'll enjoy so guys we're going to museum hill uh, i'm taking you for national museum actually national museum is a place you just go and learn history basically about uh, Here we are. So, I hope they're going to allow me to film. So, hello guys, here we are. I'm going to take you to a National Museum. You're going to learn about like um, things to do with archaeology and uh, stuff like that. So, I hope you're going to enjoy. They have favorable rates. It's actually, very favorable rates as you can see. Somewhere you can afford to come and bring your children to enjoy. We have to follow the rules and regulations of COVID-19. So guys, I had to come to the washrooms. I can't stay with the mask and tell you. So we are going to learn all. I'm doing this for the people who are usually in uh, abroad and they fail to see the heritage we are going to learn about heritage of kenya so i'll show you animals i'll show you snakes i'll show you so many things and uh, the cradle of mankind the homo sapiens sapiens ramapilecas the dead things kinds of birds so i'm looking forward to do this with you people so let's go and enjoy the museum it's been a while the last time i came here uh, i was a kid i was a child so it's time for me to enjoy with you people for people who love plants this is a hawk moth. It's a scientific name called Symphida. Symphi. Well, science is hard. Pollination of a purple plant. So, this is how it looks. Man, I'm spoiled of choices. This place has a lot of art. So, we are going to start uh, with the places which has uh, like permanent exhibitions and then we'll go to the snake park been a long time without coming this place so this is the gallery and I'm going to first of all start with the ground floor then go to first floor that's what they have to offer and we see what then we later go on to to of course the snake park mm. guys this is the whole of Kenya and actually as they have written, the whole of Kenya is dedicated to highlight the country unique tangible and intangible heritage and nature. Actually, it looks like this. So basically, this thing is talking about uh, how a country is full of a lot of cultures. And these are how cultures are incorporated in one way, the kind of tools the Kenyan culture use. It's quite huge because it's quite long therefore this is how the culture of Kenya is incorporated in one place wow very unique very unique you should come and see this for yourself guys all sorts of pots wow very beautiful guys, these birds are called motoni motoni all sorts of birds oh my god they are dead though Tadeto, but these are species of birds which are called motoni and uh, yeah the motoni is a headdress made by Maasai youths preferably from a big and colorful bird so they are the ones after actually they like uh, used to make things for boys before they get circumcised so when you see a moran with such things it's from these Mutoni birds. These are the African shunders, guys. The Siwa horn from Garissa. A bit of Gedirin over there. And then there's some big 
big big uh, gourd over here i need to know from which people it's called abu it's a musical instrument funny enough hmm? abu abu is a entertainment gadget so guys from abroad you can come to kenya we have enough heritage for you to enjoy in wonder one roof the national museum there's a beautiful map here of butterflies the kind of butterflies we have in kenya wow wow kenya is a rich country look at it look at it guys butterflies made of an entire well of course they are dead but they are making a map of kenya all the species that are in kenya this is quite beautiful the kalenjin dress is from this monkey called sabu wow you mean the skin of this can make it such a beautiful regalia so there's a lot to learn from this place it's called a sabu or sabut for the kalenjin people Guys, you should come and visit this place in museum where you meet Ahmed, and, uh, one of the unique most of the 1960s elephant because of its special task. You can see the difference between the other elephant task and its task. It was the only one that had special, it lives in Masabit, so he had to make it special in that it had to be the one which was, uh, the remains were kept in the museum so you should guys and visit and see and meet Ahmed of Marsabit so guys as I told you I'm coming the side of as you saw this is the great hall of mammals these are the convergence mammals meaning the evolving mammals and the other ones are divergent ones no actually those are divergent mammals there's a lot to learn there's a lot to learn guys there's a lot to learn these are divergence ones Look at the ones. Mm, beautiful. Moving. the late locomotive not Kona SGR as you can see now currently we are having modern that is the one we used to use on those back days in the late years but now we have the modern SGR our champions are over there mm. uh, guys I met our cousin over there I met our cousin over here the chimpanzee He's angry though, he's angry, so there's a lot to learn from this guys, so, yeah. These are vivorous guys, animals that eat, don't eat meat. More of our cousins. Cousins are all over, they're all over. We are about to go and see the Homo sapiens, the place I was waiting for, the cradle of mankind. Pangusa lens, the Pangusa lens. Upon the focus, 